you guys already know that I am jewelry obsessed. I used to be very into like silvers and then the closer and closer I got to 30, gold. Something about like coming closer to the age of 30 and just feeling more like an adult. I don't know when it happened, but I just seamlessly switched over to all gold. I have been on the hunt to find a jewelry company that is ethically sourced and sustainable. And I am just so unbelievably happy to say I finally found one and I'm working with them today. Monica Venator is sustainably sourced and 100% recycled sterling silver with 18 karat gold vermeil. It also includes ethically sourced gems, diamonds, and pearls. All of their packaging is made from 100% recycled materials and they even have a repair and rewear program, which is incredible. So if one of your pieces breaks, you can send it in, get it fixed, and prolong the life of your jewelry pieces. Something that also happened the closer I got to 30 was I got really into like very intentional pieces. So when I want dainty, I want dainty. And something that Monica Venator does well is dainty. One of the pieces I ended up choosing from their collection is the Corda Skinny Pearl Ring. Also speaking about dainty, their Diamond Essential Ring is Stunning. Now I don't do only dainty. I love a good statement piece as well and one of my favorite pieces from them that is a little more statementy is their Alta Long Link 17 inch necklace. When I was looking at pieces to pick, I fell in love with this ring. This is the Groove Chunky Knot Ring. It's the statement piece you need for every outfit, but it's not too much and it doesn't take away from your outfit, which is so crucial when it comes to jewelry. I think jewelry should accentuate your fit, not necessarily steal the show. If you want to shop Monica Venator, I have a code for you so you can get a little bit of a discount. I highly recommend you tap the link and just scroll through and see what like tickles your fancy. So again, a huge thank you to Monica Venator for working with me. And again, tap the link. Happy shopping, guys. Someone was having major FOMO. That's what you get for sleeping all day. We are doing an unboxing. I haven't done an unboxing in a minute and I used to love them. So we're gonna do one right now. First package is from Benefit. I love Benefit. They are my go-to for all brow products as well as mascara and eyeliner. And they just sent their new eyeliner guys. This eyeliner is incredible. I've seen videos and tutorials. This is like the thinnest liquid eyeliner that I have seen, like very clean looking. Also, their, their Real Magnetic Mascara is one of my favorites. I have one of their minis in my bag at all times. I'm happy to have another big one to keep like in my actual bathroom. Um, so thank you, Benefit. Okay, this is actually something I bought for myself. I listened to a podcast the other day that was just, it was, it was incredible. One of my favorite people on the planet is Brene Brown. I think she has helped me grow so much. She highly recommended this book called Wolfpack and it's about working as a team and uh, thinking as a team. And it's very um, career focused, but this can also be like translated to like, family, like working as a family team and stuff like that. She has mentioned this multiple times and it's been on my list of books to get for a while, so I'm very excited. I've been on a reading grind and I love this for me. Next we have a Rice Water Bright Foaming Cleanser and a Rice Water Bright Cleansing Oil. I haven't heard of this brand before, so I'm very excited to try it. I, I'm very particular about the cleansers I use, so I don't know that I would use this, but a cleansing oil is amazing for like removing makeup and stuff, so I can see myself using this bad boy. Some of these are really hard to open. Ah! Oh my god, yay! Okay, I'm very excited about this next package. This is from Fresh, one of my favorites skincare brands on the planet. Everything about them is beautiful and I love them so much. One of the first products I ever used from Fresh was their soy face cleanser. Someone that I loved and was obsessed with their videos used this and tried it for the first time and I think it was in like an empties video and she said she loved it so much. I ended up getting it and it was one of my go-to travel 
face washes because it's so gentle it's very minimal um there's not a lot of like harshness or anything going on because my skin always does weird stuff when i travel so i wanted to keep it like very simple and clean their soy cleanser is incredible and apparently it just got better so very excited for this i'm also going to coachella soon uh so this size will be coming in handy okay we have a o <laughs> yes oh my goodness wow smart sweets sent over some goodies you guys know i'm obsessed with smart sweets i'm always trying to find some way to eat kind of healthy um and their candies are incredible and they come in real clutch when you're having like a sweet tooth or like a, a big craving for sugar this is one of my favorite things to snack on are these peach rings they're absolutely incredible the swedish fish are so good they have gummy worms they even sent some easter eggs which is really really cute so thank you so much smart sweets i'll probably tap into those later and then last but not least oh my goodness Glow Recipe came out with a BHA plus AHA salicylic serum in a strawberry scent that if you have not tried Glow Recipe, their scents are absolutely incredible. This is a clarifying and retexturizing serum and I can't wait to dive into this bad boy. So hear me out, I feel like unboxings are old YouTube, um, but I personally enjoy them. If you guys wanna see more of them, let me know in the comments below. So one of my favorite new lunch obsessions is Goop Kitchen. Um, this is not related in any way to like Goop, the skincare brand. It just randomly has the same name. But the food that I get there is incredible, guys. This is their winter salmon bowl. It's kind of hard to see. It looks like it's burnt on camera, but I promise you this is a very deep, dark green steamed kale we have some cooked vegetables over here some rice and some salmon and then a lovely sauce to go on top so far everything i've gotten from them has been super clean super healthy and just really really yummy um and i'm obsessed i spent all weekend helping my boyfriend move and I feel like it's all hitting me now. I'm beyond exhausted. I am so tired. He moved to downtown, which means that we had to carry a lot of his furniture up lots of stairs. And my body is just beat and I am tired. And I'm just having a day today and I'm really hungry. It is past lunchtime, so I'm gonna go pick up something to eat really quick. So I talked about this in Vlogmas last year, um, before I quit, that I realized last year that I have a really hard time when it comes to eating in public alone. I never realized this was like a fear that I had. I never realized this was even an issue <laughs> until last year. And I never realized that if I I'm hungry and I'm alone like I will go out of my way to make sure I get delivery or I go pick it up and take it home even though I very much enjoy like the atmosphere of eating food at the restaurant that it's from or in a park or just outside and I love ambiance and I love like the vibe that it sets and I never realized that I only allow myself to do that when I have like people with me I think it's not fair to myself that I don't allow myself to enjoy that on my own. So ever since then, ever since that whole realization that happened, I've been slowly like making myself eat more specifically lunch alone. You know, I think I'm gonna work my way up to a nice dinner. I've slowly been getting myself more and more comfortable with eating by myself in public places. I really wanted to run this past you guys. I've talked about this obviously in the past, but do you guys struggle with that also? Is that something that has even crossed your mind or do you not care whatsoever? Is this something that is more on like the shy person's side? I'm not entirely sure where I stand in this, but 
would love your guys' opinion on that. I'm going to continue to force myself to do little things like this. And then maybe one day I'll take myself out to a nice like Italian dinner. <laughs> I know that a lot of you guys mentioned listening to a podcast or reading a book. Bringing a book with you while doing it helps a lot. So that's something I'm going to try to start doing in the future. I think it's hard on weekdays specifically because I have so much work to do. I don't really have time to sit and read a book while I eat and enjoy that time to myself. Growth, baby steps. Also, this Fenty Beauty Latte Lips Pro Kisser Lip Balm is my new favorite thing. I got it last week. I think I posted it in a vlog last time. It is my favorite color. It's so beautiful. It's not sticky, which I love. It's very natural looking. Anything Rihanna does, I swear. I swear. Fire. It is embarrassing how desperately I need this coffee right now. This lid's not working. Don't get me wrong. I love the turtles. I love animals. I don't want to waste plastic and ruin the earth, but there has got to be a better system. There has got to be a better lid system. It's, it's surprising me how long it's taking for us to figure out a better lid system, like as a society. I'm not saying I want straws back. Well, I just, I feel like we all need to put our heads together to figure out a better lid straw sipping system system rant over mm, so good I just saw Lamorne who is Winston in the show New Girl first of all if you don't watch New Girl this isn't this isn't gonna work between us not only have I watched New Girl I've watched it probably 12 times like the series I think it's hilarious. I think it's underrated. I think the comedy is amazing. And basically one of the characters, Winston, I see him all the time at Alfred and he smiled at me today and it kind of made my day. I was having a day and now I'm not. Thank you, Lamorne, for that. sure what prompted me to do this but I got a wild craving for soup so I'm going to be making a soup tonight for dinner it is a green chili chicken paleo recipe and this could either be really good or really bad but I feel like in general anything covered in like green chili sauce is delicious so I feel like it it can't go horribly wrong but TBD on that. Let's go ahead and get started. The recipe that I found, I actually found on Pinterest. Most of the recipes I ever cook with, I have found on Pinterest. It called for whole green chilies. You're supposed to smoke them and de-seed them, all the things. I just wasn't feeling that, <laughs> not today. Um, so I got, this is a Victoria 
diced green chili, fire roasted, and it is the mild flavor. I am doubling the recipe, so I got three of these. We're gonna add that into the soup as well. I think if we decide that we do like the soup, then maybe one day I'll try doing the whole green chili recipe. But for today, this just seems like the right move. camera oh no oh no I can never just pet one of them they both have to be present immediately in my lap I don't know what's been going on with me the last like week or so but I have been in a funk a little bit just feeling emotional and just overwhelmed I think work and stuff is starting to get a little out of control as you guys know um, the mask mandate finally lifted for LA, which was super exciting. It definitely feels like life is getting back to normal. With that, however, I feel like the social scene just freaking just dove in like head first. There's all these events, work has picked up and parties are happening and Coachella is supposed to happen. And all of these brands are trying to like jump in with pushing, you know, sales and having events, which is awesome. And again, like it feels so good for life to kind of be back to normal. But I think I'm realizing I'm out of practice and I've gotten really used to not having to go do all those things. And I just feel so exhausted with the stuff that I'm having to do. And then just looking forward to the weeks ahead and all of the social things <laughs> that I am required to do. It's already feeling exhausting to me. And when I say social, I want to be very clear. It's not like hanging out with friends kind of social. I love that. It is networking kind of social. And I've just never been good at stuff like that. It's not a necessity to go to these things, but it is so smart. It is part of the job. It's like having a normal job nine to five and, you know, meeting with a client. You don't necessarily want to go, but you have to do it. It's part of work. That's how I feel like these brand events and stuff are and I definitely want to go and I want to challenge myself to go and to get better at it but I'm just feeling exhausted and I'm just wanting like a home day a home week a home month not me sitting here missing lockdown that's not the case but also at the same time I'm like geez I just I need a break I don't know if I'm the only one feeling that way if you guys are feeling that way that would make me feel a lot better I just feel out of practice and I feel socially awkward. I find myself literally thinking, what do I say next? And I haven't done that since like high school, but it's putting me in some type of way. And I apparently felt like I needed to talk to you guys about it. I'm in a weird place of wanting to challenge myself to grow and do better, but also finding that it's okay to say no and uh, do what you gotta do. That's where I'm at right now. On a much more positive note, my soup is smelling great. I just got my hair done, went to dry bar and just got some curls in. I wasn't feeling like doing my hair today, so I was like, I will pay the $40 for someone else to do my hair. Sounded like a deal to me. Um, I am going to an event tonight. This is Mario Badescu, or Badescu. Um, I'll find out how to say his name correctly later. But fun fact, this is their first event ever. They've never thrown an event before, and it is at the Beverly Hills Hotel. I'm bringing a friend, it's gonna be so much fun. The invite specifically said to come in 60s 
themed attire. I have nothing. <laughs> Nothing remotely close. So I'm pretty sure Alicia has some white boots. I'm gonna steal those and then kind of build my outfit off of that. So I don't know about you guys, but when I think 60s, I think like go-go boots and kind of mini skirts, big hair, like the big bumps, headbands, stuff like that. I don't have anything like that and I know Alicia does. So I'm gonna pull out the white boot options for this evening. These are good. Mm -hmm. I can barely reach these, but these are good. Uh-huh, perfect. Mm -hmm. And there's also these ones. These are above the knee. When I think 60s, I don't specifically think above the knee, but above the knee is very flattering on me, so that is an option as well. So I recently got this beautiful Wilfred dress. If you follow me on Instagram, I did a whole unboxing on this. I got it from Aritzia, and I haven't worn it yet, so I was picturing this dress with this blazer. It's kind of like an olive green blazer. I think it would go really well with that color. With these boots. I realize that it doesn't scream 60s, but I feel like if I do my makeup and hair right, the overall look will say 60s. That's what I'm really hoping for. But first, I really wanted to address the giant elephant in the room. Taryn moved out. This is Taryn's old room. We haven't done anything with it yet because we just haven't had time. But Taryn moved out roughly a month ago and you guys have been waiting for me to like address it in vlogs and I get that. I am so happy to say that nothing horrible happened. Me and Taryn are still friends. Me, Taryn, and Alicia are still friends. All three of us are just in very different chapters of life and are wanting to explore those chapters on our own. Taryn very much uh, feels like LA was never really for her and she wants to stay living in Orange County, which is where she's originally from. Her family is there, all her friends are there. So she is thriving over there. Um, I love LA and I plan on staying here. I definitely would love to eventually find a place of my own. I have loved living with Alicia and I still love living with Alicia. I am so lucky to have a wonderful relationship with my sister, but I would love to experience my own place and see what that looks like and experience living on my own as an adult, as a 32 year old woman. I am very excited to explore that and look into that in the future. But as of right now, I am staying here with Alicia and I am very happy for Taryn and I am very happy for all three of us because I think, you know, we had a great season of life together, but you know, all chapters come to an end and it doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing, it means growth. And I think I am very much looking forward to growth for all three of us individually. It is weird not having her here and not having her across the hall from me, but um, I am so overjoyed for her to have found you know, her own place and to call Orange County home again. I think it's gonna be a great fit for her and I'm very excited for us and our friendship. I really just wanted to get that off my chest and include you guys in what's been going on here. Soon I will have to do something with this room because this just sitting here like this has been the worst. So here is the dress that we ended up going with. This is the Aritzia dress that I originally thought I was gonna wear. I'm actually really happy with it. I'm not wearing boots right now, but with the boots, it does give more of a like 60s vibe and I'm very excited about that. What I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna do a fun winged eyeliner that kind of feels a little more a little more exciting, a little more 60s maybe, which perfect timing. Benefit stopped by the house this morning to do a little brow touch up for me, which I was super excited about. And they brought this little goodie bag full of goodies. So let's go ahead and dump this bad boy out. Legitimately the best bronzer of all time. We have mascara, a primer, we have the 24 hour brow setter, which is what I wear when I'm not wearing makeup. I pretty much always wear mascara and this, even on days where I'm not wearing makeup because, you know, with posting and stuff, I just wanna look a little put together. This and mascara, that's all you need. Obviously, we have a lot more other goodies, but what I'm super excited about 
is they just came out with the Their Real Extreme Precision Liner. This liner, guys, is incredible. I just really quickly swatched it, and look at how thin that is. That is absolutely insane. I've never been the best when it comes to wings, so I am going to see if I can get Alicia to do my eyeliner. Okay, here we go. Alicia's gonna give it a go. If not, we'll wipe it off. Yeah, 100%, cases. 100%, or we'll just go with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, update guys, here is my 60s inspired look. I know it's not like full 60s, but in my opinion, I really feel like it's 60s enough. Um, we have the white boots that are Alicia's that I borrowed. Again, this is the Aritzia dress. Basically, most of this outfit is Alicia's. I'm borrowing her green blazer and green Balenciaga. I feel like the snakeskin and the leather feels very 60s, so hopefully all together, that works. Mm -hmm. 